Today's focus is on the guru. Again, we think of that teacher who enlightens us, who removes the darkness and takes us towards the light. As we lead into Guru Purnima this week, I'll share with you again the sequence of Guru Namaskar. And to prepare for that, just a few asanas to help prepare our body to come into that sequence of asanas. Be comfortable in your seated posture, Sukhasana. Bring your first finger thumb together, Gyan Mudra. Sit nice and tall, maintaining a vertical posture of the spine. Eyes softly closed. Take a deep breath in. Slowly exhaling from the nose. Just take a moment to observe the body. Notice any stiffness in the body, any tension. Breathing into areas that you may feel tight. Relaxing the body. And then getting comfortable in this seated posture. Observe your breath. Noticing the quality of air as you breathe in and out. Keeping the lips sealed as you breathe in through your nose, out from your nose. Ujjayi Pranayam, that breath of victory. As you breathe in, the energy of the Guru filling the body. And as you breathe out, letting go of any disturbances of the mind, any distractions. Your inhale, feeling the joy, the bliss, the enlightenment, filling the body. And the breath out, relaxing the body, allowing yourself to come into this moment, to be present. Deep in your inhale and lengthen your exhale. Listen to the sound of your breath as you exhale, pushing the air from the back of the throat. A gentle hissing sound, releasing carbon dioxide. And your inhale, filling the body with fresh oxygen. Coming to a natural breath now. Relax your breathing pattern. Let's chant three ohms together to begin the practice. Deep breath in. Hold your breath 
one direction, exhale one direction, and hold the breath. Synchronizing the movement of your eyes with your breath. Inhale, retention, exhale, retention. Come back to the center of your eyebrows. Look up and hold. And let's move in the opposite direction. From the center of the eyebrow, stretch the left corner. Diagonal tip of the nose. Diagonal right corner. Center of the eyebrow. Continue two more times. Diamond shape. Stretch the eye from point to point. Strengthening the eye muscles. Toning the optic nerve with these movements. Complete the diamond, bringing your gaze back to the center of your eyebrow. Look up, hold here. This gesture as we look upwards, Shambhavi Mudra, to be one with our highest consciousness. Look straight ahead, close your eyes, bring your hands together, rub your palms, palmy. Cover your eyes with a warm palm. Feel the heat. Observe the darkness. And allow the chronic energies of the palms to release any tension, any strain of the eyes. Preparing your eyes for the day. As the heat fades, softly massage over your eyelids, massage around your eyes. Give yourself a little facial massage, a little circular movement of the cheeks, and lift. Massage behind your ears. Massage your throat. Lift and squeeze the shoulders, arms. Press all the way to the wrist. Interlace the fingers, opening up here between the joints. And then keep the palms pressed together. Circulate here at the wrist. Loosen up any tension in the wrist. Go the other direction. Good. And then fold and wave like movement. Releasing any tension in the elbows and the shoulders. And so wave. Good. And then relax your arms. Interlacing the fingers, push your palms away. Lift the arms up towards the sky. Press into your sit bones, press into your knees. Sit nice and tall. And we twist. Open the arms, bring the right hand behind you, left hand on your right knee. Look over your right shoulder. Keeping the spine nice and tall, twist. Look over the shoulder behind you. Take a breath in. Exhale, just turn your head. So your head comes back to center. And bring your chin to the opposite shoulder. And then turn back to center. Release the back hand. Hold on to the opposite knee so your elbows are crossed. Get a good grip on the knee. And see if you can bring yourself forward. Bow down. Forehead to the earth. Relax your upper back muscles, your shoulders. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, lift up slowly. Good. Elbows are crossed. See if you can cross your wrists. Gutted off the arm. Maybe the wrist cross, or maybe you just cross up your thumb. Lift your elbows up to the level of your shoulders. And gently lean back. Tilt your head back. Chin to the sky. Bring your elbows up a little higher. Shoulders in. Exhale slowly. Come back to center. Arms open them. Stretch them out. Shake them out. One more time, interlace your fingers, push your palms away, lift. Hug close to your ears. Press into your sit bones so your spine gets nice and tall. Twisting out to the left. Open the arms, right hand on your left knee, left hand on the lower back. Twist. Bring your chin towards your left shoulder. Keep your shoulders level so one side is not drooping. And observe the energy in the back. Take a breath in. Turn your head back to center, just the head. And bring your chin to the opposite shoulder. 
stimulating the nervous system with these twists. Turn the head back to center. Left hand release it and cross the right arm. Hold onto the knee. Get a good grip. And bring yourself forward, taking your time, slowly, slowly releasing your head, neck, shoulders. Try to keep your sit bones pressing down so you're not lifted off the ground. Bow down. A sense of surrender. And as you exhale, come back up. Elbows crossed. Work to cross the, the wrists or just the thumbs, whatever you need. Whatever feels comfortable. Lift the elbows up. Gentle back bend. Tilt the head back. As you lean back, press into your knees. Elbows lifted, shoulders, internal rotation of the shoulders. Stretch, and then come back to center. Gutter off in the arms. Release your arms, and shake it all up. Relax the arms. Coming to a hands and knees position. Bring yourself to a tabletop. Hands directly under the shoulders, knees under the hips. We take a balance here. Left leg stretch it behind you, right hand forward. Holding steady, balance. Use that right hand as your focal point. Take a breath in here. Exhale out. As you're exhaling, shift your body to the right. So you're coming to an angle. Your hand to the right side, your foot to the left side. A diagonal position. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, come back to center. Stretch your toes back, your fingers forward. Inhale. And then angle to the left now. Twisting the body. Your hand comes towards your left shoulder, your foot towards your right hip. Feel the twist in the back body. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, moving back to center. Stretch. Uddita Dhanurasana. Now we take a gentle, twisted cat pose. See if your right hand can reach back and find your ankle. If not, just reaching back, looking over your shoulder. If you're able to catch a little of the ankle, push your foot into your hand and lift the knee up. Uddita Dhanurasana. Hold here for three breaths. Breathe in one. Breathe out. Breathe in two. Breathe out. Breathe in three. Exhale. Release your hand. Release your knee. Take a moment in child's pose. Balasana. Pull your hips back towards your heels. Rest your arms. Rest your back. Come forward. Bow down. Come into this child's pose any time during the practice. To catch your breath. To relax the body. Bring yourself back up. Tabletop, and we do the opposite side. Right foot behind, left leg, left hand forward. One straight line of energy from your toes to your fingers. Your body parallel to the ground. Take a breath in here. And as you exhale, shift your body to the left, angling into the left. Stretch your toes and your fingers. Inhale. And as you exhale, come back to center. Stretch. Take a breath in here. And as you exhale, moving, shifting the body to the right now, angle the body so your toes go towards the left side, your fingers to the right side. Take a breath in here. And as you exhale, move slowly back to center. Stretch. Good. Lifted bow or twisted cat. Bend that right knee. Reach back and see if you find your ankle. Get a hold of the ankle if you're feeling comfortable. Push your foot into your hand. You're looking over your left shoulder, feeling the twist in the back muscle. Stimulating the nervous system. Press into your right hand. Hold three breaths. Breathe in one. Breathe out. Breathe in two. Breathe out. Breathe in three, lift the foot a little higher, and then releasing the knee down. Knees open and wide to the sides of the mat. Extended child's pose. Stretch your hands up, bring your forehead to the earth. 
Bow down. Breathe in the back body. Breathe in the front body. Balasana. Complete surrender here. We think of the Guru, the one who enlightens our mind. We offer our reverence to that divine soul. Look out in front of you now. We come to Buddha Nudasana, Cobra Pose. Slide your body through your arms. Upper body lift it. Press into your hands. Press into the tops of your feet and lift your knees and your thighs up. Urdva Mukhtanasana. Relax the knees down. Take your hips back. Balasana. Two more times. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Upper body lifted. Press into the top of your feet. Lift your knees up, thighs up. Press into your hands. Feel the strength of the upper body. Relax the knees. Balasana. Exhale completely as you take your hips back. One more time. Inhale. Cobra pose. Your hands directly under your shoulders. Keeping the neck long. And if you're ready, press into your feet. Lift your knees off the ground. Upper body strong. And whenever you're ready, release the knees down. Take your hips back. Child pose. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Adho Mukhsvarasana. Bring yourself to a downward facing dog. Knees lifted, hips lifted. Walk your feet forward one step and then press into your heels. Press into your hands. Face out your fingers so your fingers are nice and wide and you have good stability in the arms. Hang right here for just a couple of breaths. Observe the sensations in the body. Breathe in one, breathe out. Breathe in two, breathe out. Breathe in three. Exhale, walk your hands back towards your feet so you're coming to the back of your mat. Relax your head, your neck, your shoulders. Upper back muscles relax. Uttanasana, forward fold. And just for a couple of breaths, hanging like a rag doll. Any tension in the upper body, let it go. And then every time you're exhaling, keeping it deeper into the forward stretch, your fingers reaching towards your toes. Inhale now slowly, rising up, lifting up one vertebra at a time. Come to standing position. Tadasana, mountain pose. Hold steady here. Soften your knees. Coming to Utkatasana, chair pose. Just go up and down a few times, sitting into your chair, observing the sensation in your knees. Now hold. Hips are low, knees are bent, feet are close together. Press into your left foot as you lift your right foot up. So you're going to take a balance here. If you feel comfortable, bringing your right ankle over your left knee. Lower yourself just a little bit. See if you can hold the balance. Feel free to be near a wall or use a chair for support. If you feel comfortable, bring the hands to the heart. Maybe hands above the head. A variation of Rikshasana. Figure four with your legs. Hold three breaths. Breathe in one. Breathe out. Lower your hips. Breathe in two. Breathe out. Stretch your arms up. Breathe in three. Exhale. Hands come to the heart. Feet down. And straighten your knees. Tadasana. Relax. Lift up onto your tippy toes, roll onto your heels, relax any tension in the ankles, and then your feet relax. Soften your knees, sit back down into your chair. Utkatasana, chair. You can lift your arms up, hold steady here, press into your right foot now, lift your left leg up. Find balance here. Using a focal point, any mark on the floor as your focal point to keep the balance. When you're ready, left ankle presses over the right knee. Hands can be at your heart or above your head. Vrikshasana or a seated chair. Lower your hips. Three breaths. Breathe in one. Breathe out. Breathe in two. 
Breathe out. Breathe in three. Hands to the heart. Release that foot. Relax the knees, the arms. Just preparing for our Guru Namaskar. Opening up the hips, releasing any tension in the knees. Now you're facing the long side of your mat. We're going to do some movies to help find a good stretch in the legs. Feet are together, right foot cut to the ground, lift your left leg up. Look out in front of you. See if you can just stretch your left leg straight and lift. Hold up for a couple of breaths. Lift the leg up a little higher. And imagine where you're going to place that left foot. Reach it forward and plant it down. Vira Madrasana 1. Arms are lifted. Turn your right toes to the long side of the mat. Come into this warrior posture. Take a breath in. Exhale out. Bring your hands to the heart. Now take your left foot back. To the right leg now. Right leg lifted. Stretch it. Hold it. Look at it in front of you. Imagine where that foot is going to land. Reach it and plant it firmly down. Turn the left toe to the long side of the mat. Arms lifted. Warrior one. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Hands to the heart. Bring your right foot back. One more time. We'll do both sides. Same side. Twice. Left leg lifted. Stretch it. Reach it. Tie it down. Bring it back. Left foot lifted. Stretch it. Plant it down. Bring it back. Try the other side. Right foot lifted. Stretch it. And bring it forward. Get back. Go as far as you feel comfortable. Last one. Lift. Stretch. Plant it down. Bring it back. Relax now. One more down. Guru Namaskar. Exhale. Hands to the heart. Pranamasana. Left leg lifted. Stretch it. And plant it down. Come to warrior one. Turn the right foot to the long side of the mat. Hold. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, let your right knee drop down. Hands can come to the mat if you'd like. Anjanayasana. Take the arms up. Open the arms wide. Right elbow crosses the left. Hug your body close. Open the arms wide. Keep the head lifted, tilted back. Bring your hands behind you. Roll your shoulders together on the back side. Bow down. Bada Vira Vadrasana. Lift your arms off your back as you bring yourself forward. Chin tucked into the chest. Release the hands. Bring your left foot. Take your left foot back. Three-legged dog. Stretch your left leg to the sky. Press into your hands. Lift left knee to the nose, rounding the spine. Yagrasana. Tiger pose. Here we cross the left foot over the right knee and let the knees down. Sit back. Walk your hands back. Sit into your hips. Hold the end of the right, left knee with your right arm. Twist. Adhamasindra. Back to center. Walk yourself forward. Knees are on the ground. Downward facing dog. Look out at your hands. Bring your left foot forward. Right toes to the long side. Pivot them. And then lift up. Warrior one. Vira Badrasana one. Hold steady. Bring the hands to the heart. Open up in the hips. Arms open. Bring your left foot to meet your right foot. Pranama. Relax. We just did one side. 
If you can remember the sequence, go ahead and do the other side. We'll conclude here. Come down slowly. Bring yourself down. Big circle with the arms. Balasana. Stretch your arms forward. Bring your forehead to the ground. Bowing down to that guru, that divine source of energy, the remover of darkness, the giver of light. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. You sit comfortable in Vajrasana or Sukhasana. Take a few moments in Dhyana. Letting the hands rest on the knees, keeping the spine nice and tall, eyes softly closed. Bring your attention within. In your mind's eye, visualizing that guru that enlivens your spirit and guides you to your highest goals. 